The network of national anti-corruption institutions in the ECWAS subregion has called for collaboration to help tackle graft and elicit financial flows. This was the focus of the meeting of the 5th General Assembly of the Network of National Anti-Corruption Agencies, which was held in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. The theme was the role of economic communities in the implementation of the African Union Convention on Preventing and Combating Corruption. Amadi Uyi has the details. With almost 400 million in population, the West African subregion is clearly rich in human and material resources. However, the continent has been burdened with underdevelopment, poor infrastructure, an increasing crime rates, and terrorism. The West African states are fragile, and that fragility, that, that fragility is made worse by several other factors. Political instability in member countries, the insecurity across the sub-region, uh, poor governance structures, weak rule of law, and then, of course, corruption. While experts believe there is a need to take adequate steps to improve the livelihoods of citizens in the sub-region, they say tackling corruption is a vice that must first be copped. At this general meeting of the Network of National Anti-Corruption Institutions in West Africa, also known as NASIWA, participants say the session will focus on tackling corruption within West Africa illicit financial flows across borders, and the implementation of the African Union Convention on preventing and combating graft. We're confident that this AGA meeting of NASIWA, from its deliberations, will come up with recommendations that will provide heads of state and government of the sub-region with strategies to deal with the issue of corruption and public waste. Representatives of national anti-corruption agencies present also emphasized on the need for effective collaboration by West African states in order to add vigor to the war against corruption. Given the high mobility of illicit financial flows, uh, light arms, uh, drug trafficking, human trafficking, all of the factors that lead to weak states that we need to work together. No single agency, either in-country or out of country can work on this alone. All around the world is, uh, is a global trend that uh, uh, you know, uh, nations or anti-corruption agencies must cooperate with one another, uh, from ONCAC to ECOWAS protocol to African Union Convention on uh, uh, you know, Corruption. All these you know, documents have uh, you know, emphasized the need for international cooperation. Nigeria's federal government assured all presents that it will support the efforts of the anti-corruption coalition to help achieve its objectives and bring an end to corruption in the sub-region. The Nigerian government believes that the West African sub-region has always been at the forefront of the fight against corruption, and as such, NASIWA will be supported to achieve its objectives, which include, among others, capacity development, and the harmonizing, and the harmonizing of legal, regulatory, and administrative arrangements for effective fight against economic crimes and corruption in the sub-region. The network of national anti-corruption institutions in West Africa is comprised of national anti-corruption institutions from 14 ECOWAS member states. It was formed in February 2015. From Abuja, Amadin Uyi, New Central Television.